I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to practice decision making with a dealt hand through the Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise. I will get 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Then we're going to identify the strength of the hand, pick out a couple categories to play, and then we'll do two iterations. We'll pick what we think is the best category for the tiles we are dealt, and then we'll do it again focused on the other option and compare results. We have a joker, pair of flowers, north and east. In cracks, we have three, four, seven. In dots, we have three, nine with a pair of nines. In bams, we have four, six, eight. So let's choose a couple of ways to go with these tiles. We'll do what we think is the best option in the first iteration and then we'll compare it to another option to see if our instincts were right. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, the first option I would choose is 369. 369 with flowers. And there are two hands that we could play under 369 with flowers. Maybe even a pair hand if we discard the joker. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe force a quint. There's also some 789 potential. I think 369 probably and then I think I would maybe push a quint. I would push a quint, but we do have seven, eight, nine in here. So for this exercise, let's focus on three, six, nine for the first one, and then seven, eight, nine for the second. The thing is, with flowers, there's only one hand that uses offsuit tiles. And that would be the fifth hand down with flowers, mixed suit Kongs. So it would be seven, eight, nine. That would be the only option in mixed suits. Unless, of course, we get seven, eight in dots, and then we could maybe play a one suit option. Or if we get dragons or something. So the hands are limited, I think, for consecutive run. That's why I was thinking about maybe a quint. So let's focus on 369 first and see what happens. So I would let these go. Keep 369. Just gather. So here I would probably pass those three. Oh, you know what? We need to take a photo because we need to document this. So we're going to pass these and we'll take a photo. We got twos, but we're focused on three, six, nine, and we did get a three. So I would continue to focus there. We have two, three or three, nine twos over here, three, nine. 
So I would probably pass one of the twos with the eight. Okay, and we'll take a photo of that. We didn't get any keepers. We're focused on 369. And I think these are okay for the next time. We'll pass these. We'll take a photo of that. We got a keeper, maybe a nine. This is where I would start to consider maybe like numbers with nines or threes or play three, six, nine, mix suit Kong. Let's pass these three and we'll continue to gather. You really don't have to pick a hand when you have discards. We have a pair in there. We did get a six. We have a pair of flowers, six, nine, three, three, six, nine. Wests, I would break those up. Three, six, nine, one suit. Three, six, nine mixed suits or three, six, nine, one suit. Let's pass the nine man. We got a three. Oh, I need to take a photo. Three dot. Three, six, nine. Oh, we have tiles we can pass here. That is a little bit risky. Here we can play either three, six, nine in mixed suits, or we can play three, six, nine in one suit. Either way, we didn't touch these tiles. Let's risk passing seven, eight in one suit. Well, let's take a photo there. We did get a nine. I don't like passing white dragons. I would wanna keep that for three, six, nine mixed suit. One thing I would do here is consider playing the pair hand, and let that go. For optional cross, I would ask for one. And if I were across the table and someone asked for one tile, I would decline. We'll just do it so we can get through it. One, we got a West. So here we have two discards with options. I would say that was a good Charleston. We've got lots of options and we have no gaps for two hands under 369. And that's because we started building around the multiple. So I'm gonna recreate this and we'll see about seven, eight, nine, or maybe even a quint. This is what we started with. Let's put it in order. Flowers, nines. We might be able to play a quint. Seven, eight, maybe the six. Now here we have threes and fours. Since I don't like passing like numbers, I would probably let that go and pass one of each suit. Six, four, three. Focus on the nine. 
no keepers. Here's another multiple. I would think about three, six, nine, or we could do a quint with threes or nines, but here we have two, four, and we do have a hand in here with no gaps, seven, eight, nine. So I would probably break this up and pass two, three, four. Little risky. Here's a seven, so I would keep that. Here's a north, potential quint. I think I would probably let the east go and pass two, three, four. North, nine, two, five. So we have north flowers, nines. I think I would push this quint maybe consider seven eight nine mix suit kongs so pass those three west what i would think about here is news with nines but we need tiles to pass i think i would probably push the quint or play seven eight nine so let's pass these three Here's a seven, eight in one suit, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, quint. I think what I would do is focus on one, either seven, eight, nine mixed or seven, eight, nine, one suit, and then maybe that quint. That way we could pass fully in the last right. We got a nine and a dragon. Matching dragon, but the dragon hand in consecutive run does not use flowers. The hand with dragons and flowers would be off suit dragons, so I probably wouldn't keep that. I probably would keep the nine, maybe pass two in the optional, optional cross. I don't remember Norse going around and there are no other nine dots that went around in the Charleston. I think I would pass two. We got the nine back. Oh, we have all nines, like numbers with nines. So probably I would discard those and focus on probably the quint. Quint, potential like numbers or potential seven, eight, nine. I think this result it has options just like three, six, nine, but I think the three, six, nine hand might've been a better category At least we could focus in one category and gather three, six, nine. Whereas here, we're in three different categories. Quince, one hand. Consecutive run, one hand. Like numbers, one hand. So it's going to be whatever we build with each pass. So for example, if we get seven, eight, these would all go away and we'd play seven, eight, nine. If we build up a nine, these would go away and we'd focus on like numbers. If we happen to get a north, then maybe the quint or maybe a flower, we could then play the quint. So I would take it pick by pick. Whereas the three, six, nine hand, we could just gather three, six, nine and build from there. I think three, six, nine was the better choice for these tiles. We all second guess ourselves from time to time. If you have a set of tiles at home, you can test your instincts by practicing Charleston chain reaction. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy 
or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.